welcome to Monday's update on what's going on here at Wesley. So thanks for joining us. This coming Sunday is going to be our final week of the series Fragile Stone, where we have been looking at the life and ministry of St. Peter. And Pastor Chad is going to be bringing the message. You're going to want to, to join us. He's bringing a powerful message that's uplifting and challenging. So please be with us at 10 o'clock on Sunday. Also, next Next week, the week after this coming Sunday, we are going to begin a new series, a short series called For Springfield, and it's all about the awesome opportunities that you and I have to put the love of Jesus Christ into action right here in Springfield. We are going to be sending out what we're calling a care card, and it kind of looks like a bingo card, and every square is filled with uh, some kind of wonderful ministry that you uh, or your entire family can do for our community and um, when you have a certain amount of those uh, squares filled then you can win a four Springfield t-shirt they're really awesome uh, Elise has done a great job with the logo on it you're gonna want one but more importantly you're gonna want to be a part of this awesome ministry in Springfield now friends our goal each week is to make our online worship as as excellent as it can possibly be we want you to have the very best experience you can. But because Facebook has been having a number of glitches in the past, we have uh, uh, begun something new, and I know that was confusing to some people. So uh, we will continue to um, work on that, and and so please be patient with us as uh, unfortunately it's not on our end that the glitches are happening but thanks for your patience and we'll absolutely continue to to work to make this the best it can possibly be um, I want to let you know that um, all of us friends all of us need to not only continue to pray for our community, to pray for our nation, to pray to be a part of the solution to, to uh, racism. But I'm going to ask that you pray in such a way that you can listen to God so that he can tell you what he wants you to do. Praying is awesome, but praying needs to be about listening so that we can hear Jesus call us out of the boat to do something spectacular for him. So let us continue. As Christians, friends, we have no choice. This is something that we have to confront, that we have to do. To love one another, even as Christ loves us, means to be doers of the word. So pray hard and listen to what God is calling you to do to combat racism. And then once you hear what God is calling you to do, uh, have the courage to get out of the boat and do it. Okay? Now, finally, um, our reopening committee has been working very, very hard. Our staff has been working enormously hard. Um, we're working very hard to be able to reopen and have live worship again. But I have been very loath to share with you a lot of the details, and here's why. Because it seems like every time we have some details hammered out, then the situation changes, and it's like, okay, we got to scrap that. And so I so dread telling you, hey, we're going to do such and such and open on such and such, and then find that we're unable to do that and cause great disappointment on your part. And so because of that, I have simply not shared with you what we are doing. Uh, for fear of that happening. But unfortunately, I, I get it. A lot of people think that that means nothing is happening, and friends, nothing could be farther from the truth. I have been, and the staff have been working extraordinarily hard to come up with a way that is responsible, and that is the Christian way to reopen. So I really do look um, to begin live worship within the next month or so, but listen to what I just said, okay? No guarantees, because with the loosening of the health department's regulations, there very well could be another spike in the COVID-19 cases. And if this is the case, then everything that we've worked for is going to go out the window. So uh, our plans are to have live worship within the next month. But friends, listen to me. Please hear me. Uh, you can stop cheering right now because you need to hear this. All right. It will look extraordinarily different 
than the worship that we left. We will have to be extraordinarily careful with how many people are in, how they are in. It'll look very different in that um, we will not have any refreshments at all, no donuts, no coffee. We will not be able to use restroom facilities. We will not be able to have any kind of greeting. We will, um, uh, possibly we will not even be able to sing. So please understand it will look very, very different. And we're going to have to take baby steps. But please know I have been, we have been working extraordinarily hard. So please pray for us. We need your help. We need your patience. We need your love. Um, we need your prayers to be able to do this the right way, the responsible way. Okay, friends, it is wonderful, and, and I am getting excited because it is getting closer and closer to that time when we will be able to be back together. So God bless you. I love you, Wesley, and I really do look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye now.